is write the truth of the statement. So now we just got to determine the truth of the statement. So ladies and gentlemen, if you remember, we talked about truth statements. And we didn't get into that much. We didn't really get to that deep into it. But what we talked about is when dealing with the hypothesis and a conclusion, there's kind of four different scenarios that we could have. We could say our hypothesis is true and our conclusion is true. So if our P is true and our Q is true, does that say our statement is true or false? True. True, right? If our hypothesis is true and our statement's false, then our statement is false. false. And then anytime our hypothesis was false, anytime our hypothesis was false, our statement was always true. 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 There's only, ladies and gentlemen, one time where our statement is going to be false. The only time we're going to have a false statement is when we have a true hypothesis and a false conclusion. If you have a false, false hypothesis, it doesn't matter what the conclusion is, your statement is still going to be true. All right? Now, so let's go and take a look at this and see what it says. It says two angles are congruent. Is it possible for us to have two angles that are congruent? Right? OK. So let's pretend this is going to be a true statement. Let's pretend we have two angles that are congruent. Then it says they are vertical angles. right? Now remember, we talked about vertical angles. Vertical angles come from when we have the intersection of two lines. right? Those are vertical angles. Vertical angles share, what do they share, Keith? What do vertical angles share? Keith. They share a vertex, right? And then, um, Alex, what is it they don't share? A side, right? They share a vertex, but they don't share a side. So it says two angles are congruent. They, share a, um, they, they are vertical. So if we're going to prove this false, we need to be able to prove that we can create two angles that are congruent that are not vertical. So can we show that two angles are congruent that are not vertical? Yeah? Tyler, do you have an example? Oh, I thought you were shaking your head. You were going to give me an example. Anybody have an example of two angles that are congruent that are not vertical? No? Mm OK. How about, what do I give you as a box? Box has four 90 degree angles, right? Are all those angles congruent to each other? Are any of them vertical? No. Could you maybe, what about supplementary angles? Congruent means they're going to be the exact same size and shape. All right, so they're going to be the exact same measure. What about supplementary angles? These are adjacent angles, right? These two adjacent, they're both 90 degrees. They share a vertex and they share a side. Are they equal in value? Yeah, they're congruent. Are they vertical angles? No. So guess what? Now I can show that my statement is true, but my conclusion is false. Therefore, that statement is false. False. So on your homework quiz.